Hello, it's Sarah. So today I have a couple of things to share. Um, I have a couple of projects and then my swaps that I got back from Art and Sassy um, for the July swaps are here. So I wanted to share those. They just look so different in person than they do on the videos. But anyway, we just um, redecorated one of the rooms in my ha house. And um, I've painted for years. I mean, I painted for 15 years with acrylic paints. And it was, it's called decorative painting, toll painting. Um, and in the past, I would have painted one of these. And I should have brought one down that I've painted because I've done quite a few. But boy, they take much longer than just slapping a piece of paper on here. So this is actually, what is it? Um, Lyric from Lyric and I just love this paper. This is more of the collage sheet. I have the um, A5 I guess they call it size Anyway, so I put that on there and that's it. I was done. It's a, it's a tissue box. So That's that I, I just painted actually just black on the corners and stuff and around the edges where I knew that um, the, it's, it's um paper mache this box where I knew that would show. So, I mean, I could embellish it more, but I think for what I want it for, it's just perfect the way it is. And then this tray I did too, because this is for on the coffee table. I'm just going to put these both on the coffee table, and that way can, we can throw the remotes in here and all types of stuff. But um, I didn't have any more of the collage paper, really. I ha There's a couple, I think, bigger pieces in here. But so I just took some of the paper and cut up some of the images that were on the collage um, sheet, like. The, pe the pennants, I guess you call them, the banner. The, this is the um, the chandelier, the butterflies. This is the little clock with a bee in it. Friend. So, and I just collaged that myself onto the bottom of the tray. And then this is the late. I, I really wasn't going for perfection with this because it's for me. I don't really care if it's not perfect when it's for me. Um, and actually, this tray, I just liked it so much. But my dog, my puppy, when we had got first gotten this she got a hold of it and chewed the corner so it was already i don't know i guess i kind of covered it good enough but this was all kind of chewed raw wood it wasn't as nice as the other and then i just put this um i love these words dreamy kiss remember playtime laugh experience relax all those words i put on the outside because i thought it matched this better to have the light color on the outside rather than the black. So those are two little projects I did. Mod Podge is a wondrous thing. And you know, so now I have these two little, and like I said, I'm not gonna um, alter them any more than that because like it's just a, a functional piece for my home. So I'm not going crazy. I mean, I'm sure I could do a lot more to it. I thought I might put some like pewter handles on it and cover these handles with paper. Like I would have just covered them instead of leaving the hole there, but I just cut around it and left the hole there and I'm happy with it. So that's that. Then this is actually something that turned out nothing like I intended, but um, it's my Serenity Crafts. It's my, my YouTube name. I made a sign, so I put paper on both sides. I've had this for forever too. I have a stash of wood. I have wood up the wazoo because I used to paint, so I used to hoard wood, but um, it turned out pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with it. I would like to make another one. I actually have another plaque sitting here ready to go because it didn't, I didn't use any of the flowers that I had first brought out because I think I wanted to tie in the colors from, um, these, these are, um, I think this is from Tattered Time paper stack. Um, and I like the idea of cutting out the letters and then I did mat them on just black, uh, cardstock because I had like black, I had painted it black originally, but then I did put trim on there and everything. So um, black was my like background color. Um, but I had these, I think these are I Am Roses or one of those companies, um, brown flowers, and I'd never used them and thought this was the perfect opportunity. So um, this is how it turned out. And I mean, like I said, it it's nothing like I intended. So that's why I think I'm going to make another one. This is like an autumny color fall one or something, but it is what it is. It's cute. I like it. All right. So that's that. Now my art and sassy swap. I did three last month and I don't, I didn't do any this month. I actually joined, um, my scrapbook swap, my 
mini my mini album swaps what the hell is it oh i forget anyway i just joined it and i think i'm gonna do a steampunk mini for them i gotta get hopping on it oh this was mine we were supposed to do i did the mini the itty bitty mini canvases i did um keys and quirks so this is what i got in return and like i said this like it's so funny because Kara always does a nice video to show the swap stuff and everything um, when she receives them to show everything that we all made and she doesn't always open the packaging or anything and I mean even without this packaging open it just looks so pretty like I don't know I don't think the video does it justice I mean you're seeing it on video again <laughs> I'm getting to see it in real life Kara made this one and I saw her, AK Caribou on um, YouTube, but I saw her video um, tutorial about this and everything. It's just adorable. I want this stamp set and they are out of stock. They're always out of stock whenever I go get it. This is by Gail Bork. Um, oh, she's from Australia. And this is what she made. Uh, these are, these had to be itty bitty. So they're, um, this is four by four. Mine were four by four, but you could go, Kara's was like two by four, I think, two inches by four inches. But they're just so cute. Um, I hope I don't run out of time. Every artist was first an amateur. So I like to get these because I totally get inspiration and I totally get ideas from what other people do. And then this one is from Colleen Sherlock. And look at that, the greens and blues, and she put either stickles or glitter and flowers. And I haven't done that yet on mine, because this was mine. I just am still playing with backgrounds, and I am decoupaging on top of it, but um, these guys are just amazing. So here's the keys. Look at this. I saw this one on the video, and I was thinking to myself, boy, I hope she sends me one of the ones that has that wrapped wire around it, because that is so cool. This is made by Scrapping Crafter. And she's got seam binding tied to the top. And this cool, I have these actually. These, um, it's a it's a finding for jewelry. And then she must have painted the key and wrapped it with wire and beads and put a little um, dangle on it. So pretty. It's so pretty in real life to see these though. And then this is my other one. This is from Christy. Um, she does beautiful work. I've, I've watched lots of her videos on YouTube, and she's a very, very good crafter. So, oh, it looks like her butterfly came off. Oh, okay. I remember these. This is so cute. Her keys are little. She said she um, had to order them on eBay or something like that. So, they were littler than some of them. We, we were using the ones from Michael's mostly, I think. But so cute, just pretty little. I'll put that butterfly back on, Christy, don't worry. And then we got three um, bottle caps. I'm sorry, corks. These are corks. I saw the bottle cap one. See, because this is Christy's. This is the one Christy made again. So I got two from her. This is, um, again, Twins for Me Too on YouTube. Twins for Me Too on YouTube. She's awesome. So look, this is the first time I ever saw anybody attach a bottle cap to the top of it. And then she just glittered it all up with some like word paper, with some book paper pages, and then a gorgeous dangle. Love it. I love, love, love to see how people make dangles. And this is so pretty. I love the blues. Joyful, that is so cute. All right, this one is from, I know who this is from, Kim Brady. She's one of the hostesses at um, Art and Sassy. She's Turtle619813. And just seeing these in person, oh my gosh, I love the zebra bead at the bottom. And then these are really cool too. These kind of feel plastic. I wonder where you get those. And then the bling. And then look at her bead dangle. So cool, she made an angel, a white angel. Love it, love it, love it, thank you. And then this one is from Kara. I think I'm gonna have, it's gonna shut me down. She showed these on her um, website too. So, I mean, if I if it turns off, Kara's is this. Oh my God, this is friggin' adorable. I love it. 